President Trump has called for a national day of prayer tomorrow to show support for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. Today, the president returned to Texas to comfort the victims. Daniel Nottingham has details from Houston. Lisa, it's been more than a week since Harvey made landfall and parts of Texas are still underwater. Take a look behind me. This is a dog park. That's a shelter and that's 25 feet of water. The White House is requesting nearly $8 billion in aid because of Harvey and the president visited parts of Louisiana and Texas today. President Trump visited one of the relief centers housing Texans displaced by Hurricane Harvey in Houston. He heaped praise on the government response and promised to help survivors rebuild. As tough as this was, it's been a wonderful thing. I think even for the country to watch and for the world to watch. Mr. Trump received criticism for not visiting victims during his first trip to Texas after Harvey made landfall. National Prayer Day. Today, First Lady Melania Trump and the president comforted children and handed out meals to families. Everything's going good so far. It's running smoothly, as you can tell. The flood water is slowly receding, but not fast enough in some parts of Houston. Firefighters had trouble battling a house fire in a flooded neighborhood. Officials say the fire hydrant was underwater. While Houston starts its long road to recovery, a day at the ballpark is giving this community a much needed break and a way to show support. The Houston Astros gave away thousands of tickets to people in area shelters and fans donated supplies and money. You pulled out your money right away. Why was that important to do? Well, it's in my heart and we do things that uh, that's really in our heart to do. State health and fire officials are keeping a close eye on six trailers at the Arkema chemical plant in nearby Crosby. Fire there has sent plumes of black smoke into the sky, raising concerns about the environmental impact of the storm. Deadly toxins and electrical hazards are also a concern. More than 150,000 homes are flooded here in Harris County, and more than 450,000 people have applied for assistance from FEMA because of Harvey. In Houston, Texas, Danielle Nottingham, KDKA TV News.